My name is Stephen Biss. I'm a lawyer in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. I'm also a qualified intoxilizer breath alcohol technician, and I've taken the Data Master Supervisors course. In Ontario, the, the evidentiary breath testing instrument that we use is the Intoxilizer 5000C. An Intoxilizer 5000C is an Intoxilizer 5064 series like this one. These instruments have the technology level of the 1980s. They were approved and evaluated in the 1980s and early 1990s. Unfortunately, these instruments don't always take in into consideration, from the perspective of their reliability, technologies that have occurred and developed in recent years, such as cell phones. I'm going to show you a standard breath alcohol test, evidentiary breath test, of a person with no alcohol in their system, that's me, and we're going to see if a cell phone has any impact on the readings taken by the instrument. The instrument first runs an air blank to clear the air out from the previous test and readjust zero in accordance with the ambient air conditions. If there was any alcohol in the air around the room right now, it would be adjusting for that. And then it runs some internal standards tests. It's checking certain things, but unfortunately it's not checking everything that it should check. Then it does a calibration check. Right now the instrument is checking to see, against a 100 alcohol standard, how close the instrument comes to that standard. And we're going to get a reading of somewhere around 96 milligrams per 100 mils, which is pretty close to 100. So for all intents and purposes it appears that this instrument is working well. In fact, we're actually getting a calibration check of 99 milligrams per 100 mils. So it looks to the police or to the operator of the machine like it's working very, very well. But what happens if a person with no alcohol in their system blows into the instrument while the instrument is in some way being subjected to radio frequency interference? Let's see what happens. I'm using a Nokia 3500 cell phone while I blow into the instrument. The instrument indicates range exceeded, which means that I blew off the scale of the instrument. I don't know whether you could see it on the video, but I was getting readings of up to 700 milligrams per 100 mils. That's beyond the capability of the instrument even. Now, if this little cell phone could have that significant of an impact on this ancient intoxilizer, do you really want to plead guilty in the province of Ontario? I suggest that you phone a lawyer who knows their instruments. Phone me, Stephen Biss, at 905-273-3322 or at 1-877-273-3322.